And a trio of serial bank robbery suspects have been charged with a series of crimes across Northern California. Federal prosecutors say the group used social media to recruit women into passing the tellers the notes. Yeah, this is an unbelievable story. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Madison Keevy, dug into these newly unsealed documents. Wow, Madison, what a story. It, it is. It sounds like something out of a movie, but it's very real, right? Bank robbers hiding their faces with sunglasses or masks, then sliding the bank teller notes with threats not to call police. The catch in this story is once they got the money, the feds say they'd post photos online with the cash. Happy Money Making Mondays. One of the calls put out on social media, federal prosecutors say, to lure help in a bank robbing scheme. An Instagram message sent by 21-year-old Yasmin Millet to 21-year-old Joyma Futch, feds say. The two, along with Dante Jones Jr., made up a trio who feds say conspired to commit at least 10 bank robberies from Sacramento to the East Bay. The now unsealed indictment says Jones and Millet actively sought and groomed recruits to go into banks with notes demanding money. Millet even posted videos of herself on Instagram holding large amounts of cash. Futch joined the scheme through Instagram. Millet sent her a message, banks hitting, let's work. And that's what an indictment says brought Futch into the game, saying she went inside a bank and slid the teller a note that read, in part, don't push the emergency button. Put a smile on your face and pull the money out or I will shoot. The last attempt, according to the indictment, was last July, when Jones and Millet used a stolen car to drive to a Sacramento bank. In the car with them, two children. That attempt ended in a high-speed chase with law enforcement from Sacramento to Fairfield. The relationship of the children in that car is not listed in the indictment, and neither is the bank that they approached in Sacramento to protect the victim. If convicted, they face up to a decade in prison.